Let's make a sheet metal bracket in on shape. Here's a quick drawing of the part we will be making. This bracket will be used to protect and stack some solid state drives we will later be installing in our computer. We already have the external geometry for the SSD, so we can use the assembly to easily create a new in-context part studio that refers back to this assembly. In context design creates a ghost of the assembly that we can reference when building geometry in a part studio. We can use this geometry as a reference when creating our base sketch for the bracket. With our sketch done, turn to the sheet metal tool to create the base for the bracket. Remember, when using the sheet metal tool, there are three main methods of building geometry. Convert for 3D parts, extrude for its sketches, and thicking for faces. Extrude the sketch to match the depth of the SSD. In our example, that is 100 millimeters using symmetry. Once you start your sheet metal model, the flange tool will be one of the best tools to keep adding detail to your model. Our bracket needs a flange in the back to hold the SSD in place. We'll also add a hole to the flange for fastening later on. When creating holes with a hole tool, you can use the mate connector right in the selection panel for faster workflows. To stack our parts in place, we will want four holes and four lances that will fit into each other, keeping our parts steady when we stack multiple of them. The hole will taper so that when the lance is inserted, it will lock into the hole. On the bottom of the bracket, we will create the lance. Reference the first set of holes to make defining the geometry easier. Now that the hole is done, let's create some small flanges to form our lance. Onshape is always checking for manufacturability when working with sheet metal. The system will warn you whenever you find non-manufacturable geometry. When a collision would happen, Onshape informs you there is an issue, preventing design mistakes. When creating our flanges, we need to add some spacing on the flange to allow for a cutting tool to fit, as well as create the right length flange for the hole. Notice the lance simultaneously update in the flat pattern and bent metal. Another unique feature in Onshape, the simultaneous sheet metal. On shape displays three views to our sheet metal parts. The folded part we have been working on, the flat pattern, as well as the bend and rib table you see in the flyout panel. This combination means it is much easier to design without flipping between the flat and folded states. Whenever any changes happen to the part, all three states will simultaneously update. As we make the cuts, you may notice the changes reflect in all views. Not only does this tool allow you to more easily visualize changes to the part, but you can also sketch directly on the flat pattern, which can be easier than building in the folded state in certain scenarios, such as making cuts across a bend. Here we add ventilation to prevent any overheating and allow for unrestricted airflow across our bracket. Let's clean up the sharp features with some fillets to avoid any user issues with sharp corners before we finish our design with a mirror. By mirroring the geometry, we saved a lot of time building features and repeating workflows. A much better approach when designing symmetric parts. With our part finish, rename it, add a material, and change the appearance before we test it in the assembly. Let's head to the SSD assembly and insert a couple brackets. We can assemble them with a single fasten mate. With a single mate, we can define the entire interaction between these components. With our clip and lance aligned, we have validated our bracket and can start thinking about creating a DXF for a finished part. 
In the flat pattern, select Export DXF. We will download it and store it in a separate tab Instead of managing copies like in old CAD systems, host product and manufacturing data in one place, eliminate mistakes and share information more accurately. Finish by creating a version, a reference point for the sign information. Leverage in context design for greater accuracy in your design. Use simultaneous sheet metal to understand the manufacturability of your design without needing to fold and unfold from anywhere in the cloud. Try it today at onship.com.